Hello, I am Clifton Slay with Rick Payway and Austin Harrow over here with High Lift. And we are here with Gon Jeepin and 1941 Media. And we're here to talk about some new products that Austin has for this year's SEMA. And there's some pretty cool products like this. All right, so we have a storable off-road jack stand. It's all constructed out of 6061 aluminum. It's adjustable from 15 inches to 24 inches and it all folds down to fit in this nice bag that you keep underneath the seat of your vehicle. So Austin, I have a question. Yes. Uh, who's the, who wants this? <laughs> Anybody who is off-road needs this. Yeah. I mean, if you're lifting your vehicle or changing a tire off-road, you need to support the vehicle with something other than your lifting jack. So is it so is it complementary to the Highland jack? Absolutely. Or is it or, and you can use it with other stuff too. I mean, if you need to do some type of service on the trail, you can use this to support your vehicle. But it definitely works complementary with the high lift jack. Once you get the vehicle picked up, you can put this underneath the axle or the frame and safely do your maintenance and repairs on the trail. It looks like a pretty fancy jack. And I see, uh, like Rick was talking about, this thing pivoting. Yeah. It's so sort of a adjustable. So you're not like getting in a position and then you're like, oh, the axle's here. I want it like this. So you, you don't have pivot. to move the whole jack, just the pivoting top part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you get it set with the base of where you want it on a nice, stable, firm surface, you can easily just rotate this as an O-ring on the inside. Hang on that. To give you the resistance you need to get in between your suspension components. And that's one of the reasons we went with a thinner material, but we had to go with steel to get the strength. So you can get it in between your control arms and your shock mounts. Then you can also even put it on the frame, like most vehicles. So Austin, I have to ask because weight's a thing. How much? I think it's 14 pounds. I okay. can't remember exactly. We just threw it right in the trailer right before we came. It's brand new. It's brand new. We've had it for a little bit, but we're waiting on patent protection so nobody steals it out here. And yeah. we got that approved on Friday, so we're going to go forward with 100% now and hopefully be shipping by second quarter of 24. What's your weight rating? 4,000 pounds. It was certified to 4,000 pounds, so it had to go over, I think it was like 6,100 pounds before. That's what we had to go to to make it actually be rated for 4,000 right. pounds. And that's all the way out on the tips. You know, the way they the way they designed jack stands to be in a standard, you have to have a certain base footprint to get the right height. So if you see one that's like on a small base with a high extension, it's not... Uh, certified with lifting and stabilizing vehicles in the ASME standards. Might as well use cinder blocks. Yeah, that's right. Austin, why did you pick this particular footprint like this? Well, we wanted to have the least amount of components and you know, reduce the cost and the weight. And we figured out that the triangle works out pretty good and it makes it just blends well with the <laughs> cylindrical tube. That's right. All right. So what about putting it on a board if you're in the sand? And this isn't going to work in the sand very much. You can put it on a board. Um, one thing we are doing in addition to this, we are making our off-road base, a new version of it that will accept the jack stand, the high lift jack, and all of our other products that work with it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, I mean, really, that is yeah. lightweight. It sure. might be not. I feel bad I don't know. It's don't, okay. I don't feel bad. It's, it's very light. If it's we can product. lift it, yeah. That is okay. Tell you where you can lift it. It's in right. here, right. <laughs> right. So, last question about the jack. Can I get it in anodized purple? No. We're going to go with the red. Sorry. <laughs> Special <laughs> order? You can anodize it yourself after you get it. I got it. All right. We like All red, right, awesome. man. We're, we're a red company. <laughs> I got you. All right. This is yes. red. Uh, so, you have another new product as well. Yeah. And I'm grabbing this one, although you got it on display over here. This looks like a derivative of the top of yeah. the, the jack or it's a, clamping. Yeah, it's a new version of our original uh, winch jack spreader nice. clamp attachment. We updated it uh, to where we can use synthetic rope for recovery. It's kind of like a boat cleat. You just make a special knot on there and it doesn't get too tight. And you can put that anywhere on the jack itself to use it as a clamp. You can even put it in place in the base or areas 
where like there's a narrow gap in rock. We put it right inside there and fit in tighter areas. Can you show us on the jack? Because I know visually it might be a good display. Okay. You kind of have it over yep. here. So here's your rope. Okay, so here at M, this rope, and so it's designed to be like a friction. Yep, and then loop through here. Oh, I see, okay. So you gotta be a Boy Scout too. I'll come through it too. Okay. Sorry. Right. No, just show me. And I'll pull that. Okay. And you anchor it here on the end. Well, we didn't pull enough to. <laughs> okay. You know what we mean. It's all right. Now let's do it the way you want it. Okay. I'll let you do it. Said to me, just fussing with it. That's why I said we need to be a boy scout now. I love knots. Knots are cool. Knots are cool. Come through. Loop it. Ah, the there you right go. There. Could you? You can. And we, we can get in all kinds of rope technology questions with this because that's kind of that. a weird bite but that as a safety the way i used to do it was just wrap it around here and then bring the tail back through now why do i want to do this is this to winch with like yeah, on an extension is, yeah this is to winch okay. with you you can anchor this to a tree or to your vehicle and use the lifting nose of the jack to connect another uh, strap or chain to actually start using the jack horizontally as a couple i see so static sack rope or a winch extension, yep. then you could use this even though you never use it. And it still has the same provisions as our old one where you've got a chain slot where right. you can just easily adjust the weight that you need. Um, you can still use uh, a soft shackle through the main hole or even up to a 7 8 D ring mm -hmm. to connect the strap. Mm -hmm. so okay. Old, old school or new school, you got to cover this one. Yep. That's pretty nice. I like the winch rope because you can adjust the slack easier. Especially yeah, there's some of those like yourself. whoopee slings and that kind of yeah. stuff that make it really easy. That's always been the thing with winching with high lifts is the reset. Yeah. The reset is always the Every thing. Every three weeks. Um, so with the whoopee sling or something like that, how that, way, way better. Okay, that's cool. And you also said that you could use this as the base. Yes. On this, this model of jack, it comes with a quick removable pin. So you can take this off. Rick's gonna take it off. I'm gonna screw it up here for you. Look at that. Whoa. It's oh. on the wrong side. Isn't it? It's on the wrong side. That's okay. I'm ambidextrous. It's a trick. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how to see put the it tracks on, on it. Like yeah. Okay. The so oh, I see, because we're... Oh, yeah. we, okay. And you use the bolt that would be up there. You can use that as a notch to spread with, or you can even turn it this way to get you a wider, like a rock thread. Oh, right here. Yep. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Yep. Okay. I get it. That's and that would good. also work in a... Sort of like for extrication, if you had it off a rollover or something right. like that, you're trying to spread the B pillar against A pillar or something yep. like that, you would use this. Yeah, use that side or this side if you need to for a purchase point that's smaller. You could even use that. Okay. If you need to you know, jab it into the side of sheet metal. I could see that because the old bases didn't work well. Right. You had to use a screwdriver. So what else? What did we miss? Just You can move it anywhere above the running gear as well. So like you can put it in this position here or this position there and use this as a clamp. So you've got a greater clamping capacity when you use this as a clamp. So you can put it, you can leave the base on, this gets a little crazy, leave the base on, mount this down here, run your running gear up, take your bit tie rod across the lifting nose of the jack, connect two chains from here, and you can technically bend stuff back out in the pits. Straighten it up. You just gotta so, do what you gotta do. I think what we'll do is, um, next time Payway um, pretzels one of his steering, yeah. Um, can you just do like a FaceTime with him I can. and then just explain how to do all I that? I probably got some bit I, I got lost in there somehow, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's doable. It's, it, you have to get creative, but sometimes, you know, we've yeah. all been there where you've got to get creative, so this gives you more opportunities to be creative. Well, I have plenty of bent tie rods at my place, so just come on out. 
do our videos stuff, after stuff, and then they'll just go forward. Okay, that sounds good. Austin, do you have any other new products that we missed? Uh, we have some vehicle-specific Bronco uh, mounting solutions for the new Gen 6 Bronco. The one that's on the tailgate. I know, I know. Okay, here's a question for you. <laughs> okay. I just got a Rubicon JK. Okay. Where do I put my highlights? Where do you want to put it? You want to put not it? on my hood. Not on your hood? We can put it on inside on the roll cage. That might be the best place. We have a mount that goes on a roll cage to get it anywhere on the back roll part right. where you can... Get it up high or down low. I like it down low because it's heavy. It's Lower is better, yeah. yeah. This is good old right across what I can see. Start doing yeah. presses. All right, did you cover it? I think so. All right, so. Thanks, sir. Thanks for coming, guys. guys. See you next time. See you on the trail. Come on, salute. Don't go away with it. Let's do that. All right, so that's it for here. 41 G Media and Gun Chicken. See you next time.